Take a flash. Bang. Thank you. Ooh, that's a lot of you guys. Ooh, I got everybody. Alright, mostly everybody. Another page. What do you got for me? I stared through the bars of the jail cell. Barry stood behind me, swaying on his feet, looking as ill as I felt. Agent Nightingale stood on the other side of the bars with Sheriff Breaker. Nightingale had a stack of manuscript pages in his hand. He seemed unhinged as he gloated. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here, all the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. You weren't even involved in this plot until you busted in. I don't know how you think I was going to murder you. Yeah, roll. Innocently, I have seen your cunt do damage to me. Alright, you don't explode. But I'm watching you. Next thing I know, you're going to be whacked at me again. That is true. This is like the second game where something uh, th something just throws objects at me. Finally, a flare gun. Hey, look. I just got it. Why are you going to make me waste it? Come on. No, die. Okay. Ooh, thermos. Give me. Oh, I'm I'm about I'm about to die. I don't know, I don't know how I made through that. No, no, I fucking fell. It's too quiet. Especially since the gun gave me shotgun. Ammo. Anything back here? Um, am I supposed to go this way or the other way? No, I'm supposed to go that way because there's a... Um, a light source. What's over here? Or is that just connected? Oh, wait, I did a big circle. I'm an idiot.
How do I get lost? Yeah, if you go... Oh, okay. If you go up there... Pretty sure like, you spot the thermos. Like, yeah, I'll go up there. Okay. I got you, game. There is, but if there is anything on my left, gotta be right. Nothing. I'm disappointed. I had no real plan. I was going to give the kidnapper all the manuscript pages I had for Alice. If that wasn't enough, I'd hold him at gunpoint and make him talk. Ooh, a pump action shotgun. Don't mind if I do. Oh, this is going to be fun. Light, behave yourself. Try this gun out. Just mowing you guys down. I mean, I think the benefits is you get more ammo, but I'm pretty sure the previous shotgun was like a one hit KO. Oh well. Buddy. You actually stepped into the light. Get back. Uh, I can actually hit him. Turn on. What hit me? Pop it, pop it, pop it. I don't see how it's useful. It, it's not helping me. This light, these lights. do hard work. Wait, you're not dead. Pick another. Anything on the other side that I missed? Leave me alone.
Ooh, what do we got here? A flare gun. A thermos. Is that it? Okay. Make sure everything's locked and loaded. Especially you, flare gun. was moving ahead of me in the same direction I was going. A cold feeling settled itself in the pit of my stomach. Was it going for Alice? Who knows? Maybe it already has Alice. I hit the flare gun first. Oh, well, he's not dead. I know I saw another one up here. Yeah, appreciate when a game has a lot of checkpoints. All right. What do we got? I haven't seen a page in a while. I felt that. Okay, I see one in the distance. The place was dead. A ghost town. Had been for decades, maybe a century. God damn it, they're back. good things were never as simple in real life as in fiction I had lost count of the times I had wished there'd be a clear reason for my writer's block something to fight something to lash out on there wasn't I was filled with doubt I was nothing like the hero in my books. Alex Casey had gone through his life with single-minded determination, never wavering from his goal. Even now, I was angry at myself, angry at Alice, angry at Barry. I was fumbling and I had no plan. Oh, this goes for a good while. Shoot. I didn't think episode three was going to be this long. Right. 
Time to get into the ghost town. What does this say? Oh, that's a bunch of words. All right, Gray Peak Forge. Yeah. Founded in 1928. Uh, mining town. Okay. Okay, for the Bright Falls Mining Company. And you had a nearby graveyard. That doesn't sound fun. Okay, so they closed their doors in 1970. And yeah, so whenever a miner died, it's like, yeah, just put them to the graveyard across the bridge. Like, God damn. I wonder if my storage is my coat and I get a different coat. Because I want to carry more than 20 batteries on me. fridge. Ow! The stove. I mean, I give the game props. It's, it's creative with its objects to hit me with. Will flashbang work? Please? Stay down! I've already had experience with you guys. At least I know the flash paint works on them. And I don't trust you. Right, stay back. Come on. this the place? Oh no, we're just breaking and entering. You know, another crime. Brown 
quake. Anything outside of riding is a struggle. I feel ill. I managed to make my way downstairs. There's a shoebox filled with books and papers by Thomas Zane. It's very hard to focus, but I managed to read some of it. He's a poet, and a good one. He writes of muses and creators summoning fabulous things from a magic lake, using his powers to shape the world of a realm of gods and dreams and demons, dark things that wait for a chance to slip through, wearing the flesh of men as disguise. Zane writes about himself, his girlfriend being taken over by a dark presence, about growing scared of the lake. Zane believes it's a mirror to the gaping void of darkness above, where some Lovecraftian presence lurks. I crawl back upstairs. I'll borrow these things from my story. They ring true. They fit. Yeah, I think the other Alan is going crazy. I think that's the first time he notices us. That'd be that'd be so strange. No, I, I can't. No. I can't give up the shotgun. Take the ammo. Yeah, give me the shotgun. Focus is right there. Kidnapper had sent me a text. The message was full of spelling errors and insults. It was telling me to hurry up. Man, how high is this peak? Birds. Oh, and I can hurt them. Yeah, yeah, back off. Oh, no. Okay, that'll buy me some time. Above me? Damn it. I missed. I don't got a choice. Oh. That's one way to escape ravens. Tunnels go to Cauldron Lake. Alan. 
Oh, the darkness thinks this is funny, huh? I think I'm supposed to go further down. Let me go try going. No, because there, there's a page right there. What would be further down? I'll give it a shot. Never mind, there was a page here. Give me that. The hunters were big, thick-set men, confident and at home in the woods. They were feeling good, running on beer, ghost stories, and camaraderie late into the night. It did them no good, as they were taken by the dark presence, sucked deep into a darkness far worse than any ghost story they ever told or heard. Okay, let's see what this boss arena has in store for me. And lights, okay. Even behind the closed doors and curtains of his grimy room at the Majestic, the local motel, Nightingale could feel the locals' eyes on him, the unrelenting pressure of their judgment. He forced it out of his mind. For all he knew, they could all be under Wake's spell already. You do what you have to do to get the job done. He took comfort from the bottle in his hand. Please, he thought. Just let me get through this. good exit. Alright, thanks for making me another one. What, behind my ass. See what you later. And now the shotgun's useless. Unless they give me ammo, which I doubt.
I'd have to make my way up this mine shaft in order to go on. Maybe the machinery could help me with that. Oh no, it's a puzzle. I think. There we go. What do you do? I know you raise it up. Oh, uh, never mind then. That's it. I should have been something special. I'm blind. No, oh, Alan, you should also take one of those lanterns, you know? Have a backup light, you know, on your back. You know, so you don't keep being attacked in the back. Oh, bullshit. 